morning guys and happy Monday. So today is the official day back at work which is exciting. I have been very very excited to get back to it but also at the same time I have really enjoyed having some time off. I am about to do a campaign with Esper. So yeah so I'm doing a really lovely campaign with Esper so that's why I'm still in my dressing gown. I'm just waiting for the brief to be sent over just so I get everything right. I'll show you the products because I've been loving them anyway and I've got some new products it's a little bit dark in here because it's really gloomy outside but they kindly sent me over a jade rolled and a like a jade sculptor we have the Esper optimal skin pro cleanser which is so lovely it's got three kind of like different multitasking products in there and like steps so it has obviously a cleanser in here which will help remove makeup and dirt then it also has like a really lovely exfoliator which is really therapeutic it's so lovely Esper is actually inspired about bringing spa back to your home. My other main favourite product from Esper is the Restful Bath and Body Oil. I think this is incredible. I literally pamper this onto, which I haven't done actually this year or like since the move, but it is insane. I usually do it before I go to bed and I literally have the loveliest sleep ever. And they come in different styles. So you have Restful, I believe there's Restorative, Sleep, Energising, but like, yeah, there's loads. So new ones are the Esper Restful for night cream and the repair and restore intensive serum which I'm very interested in and then you have the repair and restore moisturizer so they've really kindly sent me basically a whole set so I'm just waiting for the brief just so that I know what I'm doing and then I don't have to film it twice if I miss something out so at the moment that's like where I've done a little setup so yeah I don't want to start anything yet because I will have to do like detailed instructions of how I apply it on my face and where I apply it on my face I'm suffering suffering with some blemishes so I might have to put a little bit of concealer on I got loads of messages last night on my insta stories like how do you keep your skin so glowy and like this is not the prime example of how I keep my skin glowy because this is just like alcohol and moving in from new year's but hey ho new year fresh clean start I have still got a lot to do in my bedroom and kind of around the house but mainly in my bedroom it does look really lovely it just needs some TLC I feel like this is the the fireplace so far so I've got my pictures of me and Lars a little candle from the white company which is nearly running out then a lovely print my friend Tula um, did for me she is insane and then yeah I've got this box from NARS it came in a PR set but actually the NARS logo is underneath but like that looks really lovely a candle from this lovely lady in Brighton I will leave her down below at the moment my desk is in here but I think I'm going to keep it in here I might get like a big mirror to go here I think that will look really lovely but on the, at the moment it's just got my like laptop Dyson and my planner mirror and some flowers my nan got me and then here like it looks okay but I feel like it could do with a little bit more TLC got this candle from Wilco and then I've had this lamp forever it's from Laura Ashley and then my bedside table is from May.com so yeah so that's what it kind of looks like at the moment it still needs a little bit of decorating my little tripod here the lighting is super blue but yeah I really like this setup by the mirror I think this is really cute so I think what I'm going to do whilst I wait for my brief is just go and do some admin on my laptop. I do have my first vlog going live tomorrow, Tuesday. And this morning Helena and I did a little circuit class on a Zoom call with her mum and her friend which was really cute. So a good start to Monday and a bit of a slow one which is even better. So yeah so I'm gonna crack on with some admin and then I will catch you guys later. Just got some lovely flowers from my brother and his girlfriend. Thank you, Harvey and Mina. <laughs> They're so cute. Thank you very much. So guys, I've just shot my Esper campaign. I've just taken some pictures for my rail sale that I'm going to pop up tonight. I've now set myself up in the living area. Um, Hells is cooking. Hells is cooking a lovely butternut squash soup, which smells so good. So I've set myself up here. I'm going to carry on with some emails. I need to edit the Esper campaign and send it off. I was going to do a, another job today, but I don't think I'm being sent the brief till tomorrow or this evening. And at the moment the weather is super gloomy so the best time to do campaigns and stuff are in the morning and then leave the editing and admin to the evening so yeah so i'm going to set up camp now and then i'm gonna help 
of hell splendor soup and yeah it smells incredible i'll quickly show you what it looks like this is also a new pan we got from asda so it's just bubbling away oh my god it's yeah it's a coconut and butternut squash soup which is so delicious chef helena yum beautiful squeeze of lime juice oh yeah so we contribute to each other i help you with clothes and products she feeds me <laughs> yeah off on a little stroll <laughs> it's chucking it it's freezing well it's not chucking it down it's like spitting but it's like not a nice spit so we're literally doing a lap of our street and the parallel street and then we're gonna go home and, and make luck. some coffees and get back to work um but yeah it's really nice able like we're able to just what we do <laughs> Just to like get out and fresh air, like we did it last night, we went for a walk. It was just so nice to get some fresh air, but tonight we're gonna do some Pilates or yoga to like super chill after work and then have, have a bath. Do you want me to cook dinner whilst you're in the bath or you're gonna have a bath mm -hmm. after dinner? Well, that's an idea. Mm. I might have it just before bed. Just before bed, yeah. Like after the songs. Yeah. look appetizing but I, I think it is we've got a fish that we don't actually know what it's called bassa bassa kind of a bit like it's quite a thick yeah. fish do you want to taste it fishy fishy mm, nice, nice. Really good nice. And then we've put like hell's his mum made some homemade pesto sriracha vegetables chili garlic delicious and then we're gonna watch the rest of miss congeliality oh yeah oh. Good morning guys. I have started off the day with a workout with Helena. Helena's working in the background and I've just filmed some stories for a job I'm doing with Esther and now I'm gonna make some breakfast. Got these black forest frozen fruit from Asda. It's got cherries in it and I just love cherries. This on top of porridge is amazing. Even though it's cold, a fancy, a smoothie, bananas in and then I'm gonna put some frozen fruit in and then I'm gonna put in in some chia seeds. I don't know how much, I just kind of freestyle it. A lot of matcha. I didn't realize I had a subscription on Amazon. Now I have two pots of matcha, which is kind of unnecessary because I don't drink it that much. So I'm going to put a spoonful in my smoothie. Mm, I'm going to wait and put the peanut butter at the end. But I've also got this really nice granola from, there's a company in Brighton as well, but they've got it in London. It's called Source. And it's one of those like refill places where you take your own like jars and things like that. So it's like pretty much non-waste. Zero waste. Zero waste company. So that's really good. And it's actually a lot cheaper because you're not paying for the packaging but the granola is very expensive but it's homemade and it's insane it's like this buckwheat lemon and goji with some like cacao nibs and some cashew nuts and pumpkin seeds and coconut so it's really good so i treated myself to that i'm gonna quickly brown so it's come out like a really thick consistency which is perfect put some banana in it. and then a bit of peanut butter and that is the final product. So yeah, so I'm gonna eat this and then crack on with some work. So guys, I am up and ready. I feel like I've taken forever getting ready, but I've just been doing emails and admin in between. So today's outfit, I decided to go for a little bit more of a color palette because usually I just easily go to black. It's getting a bit boring now, so I feel like I'm having fun and entertaining myself with different outfits, and I really love this one. It's one I usually actually go for quite a lot. These trousers are super comfortable, but they make you feel like you've got your oomph together. So I'm wearing my very famous <laughs> card that I 
always wear. This is from New Look. I'm going to leave a link down below to similar ones, but it's just such a good one. And I nearly was going to sell it, but actually, the quality is incredible. Love the fit, super cozy, and there's nothing wrong with it. And then I've paired it with these Topshop trousers, which I have the matching blazer to. And it's like this nice, I don't know if it's going to come up on camera properly, this really light greeny grey. It's really lovely. So, yeah, just a bit of a neutral colour palette today, which is actually really nice. But yeah, and then we have on my slippers that I got from Zara Home. They are so cute and they're like this like shearling faux. They're so cute. I wonder if they'll still be in stock. And then just like my normal jewellery. Hair is freshly washed. I'm wearing my daisy earrings which I am completely obsessed with. I keep wearing my Daphne ones and they're like my like special earrings so I need to get used to wearing these again. So Christmas is over so sparkles away. And then I'm wearing my normal jewellery which is from Chloe, this A one is from Chloe. It needs, you know, when you get it re gold, repainted gold. My family's jewelry man, he can cover it, which I need to do. And then my Daisy signet ring, which I think is just so sweet. So, the plan of action today is I've got a campaign with a brand called Fanfare. They are really cool and they upholster secondhand jeans, which is really fun. Um, so, I'm going to do a little reel with them. I was going to do like a day to night, but obviously, with the new circumstances, with a new lockdown I'm going to make it a bit more like wearing cozy inside and then like for a kind of like coffee walk day I think that'll look really that'll be really lovely and very relatable and I think that's what we're all kind of looking for at the moment so I've got that and then I want to shoot some outfits I want to do some like mirror selfies just because I'm not really able to shoot with my photographer or anyone at the moment except Hells <laughs> um, training Hells to become a beautiful photographer so yeah so I'm gonna try and stock up on some mirror photos so I need to, and I also need to go to the post office because I sold some items last night on Instagram and that was fab So if you're ever wanting to check out my like rail sales, I do them like here there I kind of give a pre-warning like a week in advance like be ready because it'll be on the weekend or on Monday So yeah, so I am just waiting for approval on my my draft of like what I've proposed to do for fanfare So I'm gonna wait for that. So I'm gonna wait for that and then I'm gonna set up like in the background here Some outfits that I want to shoot for mirror selfies so I'm kind of ahead of the game so when I do the fanfare one that's done and then I can get on with some mirror photos. Hello guys. Last time I shot, no, last time I was filming I actually can't remember but it's a lot later on now. I had a bit of a wobble earlier but it's okay. Onwards and upwards. Hells has created the most loveliest dinner. Little chef, do you want to explain what it is? We have some sweet potato. <laughs> we have some cannellini beans in here. Red and white onion. Oh. Garlic. Basil. 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 Thai basil. Oh, Thai basil indeed. <laughs> do you say basil or basil? I say basil. Basil. The oil. It looks oh, incredible. And, and then we're doing mm. salad. Delicious. And obviously. Sabacha. Oh yeah, baby. So. Tonight, we have discovered a new episode, which one of my lovely followers recommended, and it's called Out, Out of Banks, which looks really good. It's on Netflix. It's about, basically about rich kids in the summer, sort of trying to track down money. First, no, it's, the, it's not the rich kids. Oh, they're not rich, but yeah. then his dad's rich. Oh, yeah, because apparently he's accused of stealing like 400,000 pounds worth of gold. Oh my goodness. Um, I think it's more than that. I think it's like 400 million. Oh. Because it's like... <laughs> that would make a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're going to watch that um, because we've watched everything else everyone's recommended. We've done Bridgerton, Tiny Little Things. But there are some new things coming out. And also, we want to watch Tiny House. And there's another series on Amazon that someone recommended. So yeah, so long story short, we're going to go and have dinner. Um, in front of the TV. In front of the TV, as per usual. I've just done, well, we've just done a big Ikea order. I ordered a new mirror, like a really big one. Ordered some white curtains. I've also done, I don't think you can see it from here. I'll keep it maybe blurry. But I've done like a um, all my Depop parcels are ready to go and I've put little presents in them. But anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. And I will catch you guys in the morning.
so I am just about to make some breakfast. Helen and I went on a lovely walk today. I'm gonna put you in the cupboard. Had a coffee and that was really nice. I think we're gonna do like slow Thursdays. I think I'm gonna make some, I think I'm gonna be a smoothie actually. Um, I think I vlogged this anyway, so I'll catch you guys in a bit. going to do a little bit of a get ready with me when it comes to makeup and kind of just go through all the products that I am using today and on like on a daily basis I get quite a lot of questions with how I keep my like cheeks so super glowy but it looks like really natural so yeah so I thought I would go through this with you so first up I'm going to use the Laura Mercier pure canvas primer and it's the hydrating one this is really lovely especially this time of year when in winter it is quite gloomy it's cold we actually got a bit of snow this morning so i like to add a primer on just to put another like hydrating base onto my skin and also as well it helps support creating like a canvas for your makeup so it doesn't plug plug your pores the next up i'm gonna go in with the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter i'm in the shade for medium so what i love about this is if you've got like really unblemished skin then this is perfect for you or if you do like a really light makeup this is as well really lovely but this is kind of designed to be a base for when you put foundation on um, it's just like a really really light filter so in the summer for me personally this would be lovely just on its own with some concealer but as it's winter I like to put a little bit more coverage on so I just like to blend it in as you can see it just creates a really nice glowy base you could also use the by Terry sunny flash CC serum which is also like a really good recommendation and it's incredible the quality of it is amazing in the winter I don't think it suits my skin tone very much it's very dark but i like to use a bit of a lighter coloring and i don't believe there is a lighter coverage i think there's one called apricot if you are a big fan of the sunny flash and you've got the same problem as me i would probably try apricot but other than that i would really recommend this because i think it's really lovely so yeah so i'm gonna go in next with the what i've just put on is the laura mercier tinted moisturizer in the shade vanilla i'm gonna leave all the products down below it just gives a really nice tone a bit of depth i'm then gonna go in with some concealer and at the moment i'm using the bare minerals bare minerals bare pro in the shade medium warm 07 so this is really good for like covering those blemishes it's like quite thick but with bare minerals it has a very delicate ingredients who harmful and as well it actually blends really lovely i have a webinar at 10 30 with reward style which is also known as like to know it they're doing a webinar for influencers instagrammers youtubers it's just basically like a helping hand like some lessons to talk about 2021 and like new updates with like on instagram and things like that so it's very beneficial for us business industry of social media I'll just apply it like that so it's like a really light coverage i do like to then I need to get some more of this go in with the banana low lighter by rodeal and i just like to put a little bit under my eyes just to brighten it up and again just blend it in with my beauty blender so like super lightweight Wait. I'm then going to set my face with the Bare Minerals Veil. This is really lovely. It's their original one, the original mineral veil. And this actually is like the only thing which doesn't doesn't let the mascara drop from my under eyes. And also as well, I find some powders quite cakey and they just sit on my face instead of blending in where this is just so lightweight and works really lovely on the skin. So I'm just going to dust that over under my eyes and also on my chin where I've got blemishes that just helps it with putting everything in place and holding it in place especially if i'm wearing a mask later if i'm going into a shop so this is where my i do my mixture of blusher and highlighter so i'm using the nars orgasm x palette so it's got two different shades of blush and then a really nice like golden highlight but as you can see hit pan so i just go in with one brush and i'm literally using the middle one and i mix in with my highlighter and then i just blend them in so instead of applying them separately i like to apply both because then it really creates a really natural look instead of you can see sometimes that line of highlight so if you go over the top with blusher then you can go over the top with highlighter and just helps it blend which is really nice and then just with my finger i'm just going to do the ridge of my nose and my cupid's bow 
And then I'm just going to put some lip liner, lip balm on, sorry. This is the Lano Lips 101 ointment. This just helps with just like priming your lips before you get to the final stage of putting on your, your lipstick. So then I'm going to go in with some bronzer and I'm just going to use my NARS Laguna bronzer. It's just a holy grail and works with a lot of skin tones. So I'm just going to go in with a flat brush, start on my cheeks and then just work my way around my forehead like so. Then I'm going to go into brows and I'm going to be using the brand Refi. I've got the pencil. See that? The pencil and the like brow gel. I'm in the shade medium. Go in with the pencil first and then draw a line underneath. Fill in the arch. Brush that through so it's really natural and not as harsh. And then with the spoolie brush I like to blend that line in. Just fill in the missing gaps. And then I'm going to go in with the brow gel. Brush the brow gel in. It doesn't matter if there's like some white bits hanging out because that just dries quite nicely anyway. I love about this brand this product as well it lasts forever i've had this for a few months now and i think the set is 40 pounds i believe do get another product with it i haven't used that product yet i've just kept it to the pencil because that's just what i'm confident in if you take the top off it has a little spoolie brush in it it just looks really nice and like fluffy and natural so then with a little fluffy brush i'm just going to use this natural color here just to go over my eyes i'm just at home today so i'm doing some shoots so i need to put a bit of eyeliner on as well i like to do a quick wash with like a bit of a warmer orange shade on my eye. I have a Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil Crayon. So it's really blendable. So I just put that in the corners of my eyes. A little does go a long way. And then with a little brush, blend in the shape of how I would like my eyeliner. And it doesn't matter really if it's messy because it's like a smoky look. It's a lot easier than doing like a liquid liner. So it just gives a bit of oomph to your lashes. I'm just gonna put some Urban Decay Lash Freak on my lashes. And I'm gonna put some Airbrush Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. It smells incredible and it just helps last. And then I'm gonna go in with the Clarins Lip Perfector. The, it's the Velvet Lip Perfector in the shade 02. And that just friends really nicely with the lip balm. A really natural look. So yeah, so that is my makeup for today. I curled my hair today just to kind of, just to make it a bit more firm. I quite like it. I just need to sort out that side. But yeah, so that is my look for today. I am going to quickly jump on the computer as I've got the webinar at 10.30. I'm going to go make myself a coffee. I've got 20 minutes. Sort my room out and yeah, get ready for the webinar and then carry on with today. Cover how to leverage like to know it posts with the new Instagram guide feature. Um Good evening guys. So it is end of day. I've just been to the post office and I went to Tesco's to get some salad. We've put some potatoes in the oven. I'm gonna do some yoga because feeling like we need a little bit of a stretch and a wind down. Talking of wind down. <laughs> That was clever, wasn't it? That was so cringy. Um, we're going to have a glass of wine. Glad you enjoy your own jokes. I thought that was quite good. I came up on the spot with it. So yes, we're going to do some yoga, have a glass of wine. We're going to have jacked potatoes with like tuna, cheese, salad. And it's just going to be delicious and just like super chilled. We're going to carry on watching Outer Banks because I'm very excited for that. Oh my God, you're already in your yoga gear. Mate, I need to go and change. But yeah, so end of the day. I've had quite a productive day. As I said, I had a really good webinar and that's really inspired me. Um, just kind of going through my planner now with what I want to do tomorrow. So I'm going to film how I curl my hair because I really liked it. I'm really glad how it's turned out. I'm hoping, I'm gonna see if it actually stays like this in my sleep, but I sleep like a gremlin, so it'll probably go everywhere. And then I'm going to organize. I did loads of mirror photos and I'm gonna start doing some guides. I do have a H&M haul, which should be arriving soon. I think tomorrow or the day after. So then I will plan to do that. And I I think I'm gonna do it in here, like in this corner. I filmed a little reel here the other day and I was really happy how it turned out. And I've got a rail in the office which I can use. So I feel like that would be really cute, but the floors are really creaky. So I have to think about that when it comes to chatting. Oh, my battery's gonna die. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in a minute. 
So we just did the loveliest, loveliest yoga workout. It's by Kat Methan. She, Kat Methan? Kat Methan? She's been doing yoga -nary. And we just did a, it was like a, it's like a chilled breathing one. It was so lovely. At first I was like, oh, is this going to be boring? But it wasn't. It was absolutely lovely. I'm just opening some wine. I kind of got sent, well, I kind of got given by my lovely friend Katie, this Le Cardinal wine, red course. So I'm going to let that breathe. So thank you very much, Katie. That was very sweet of you. It's going to be enjoyed very muchly so. So at home, when I was with my parents, I was trying to be good with, with lockdown. I wanted to create a routine of drinking and eating and things like that, just so I had a bit of structure. It felt like I had something to look forward to. So definitely do that if you're really struggling to find like motivation and like you feel like you're just like eating and drinking during the week, which is not great. Do it as like you eat bad on the weekends, like look forward to that chocolate bar, glass of wine or something like that on the weekends. However, it is a Thursday. However, I am knackered. It's the new year. Do you know what? I just want to glass of wine on Thursday and Hells is not a drink drinker but she loves a glass of wine so I'm gonna take it into account that maybe I just start drinking on Thursday and just don't drink Monday Tuesday Wednesday um but for this week that's what's gonna happen I feel like it's been a bit of a weird beginning to a new year so yeah so I'm gonna let that breathe I'm going to do some salad we're gonna do some salad like I said some tuna I think Hells is going to do like a tuna mayo for her but I don't eat mayo so I'll let her do that so yeah so I'm gonna chop up some salad I also need to get out the the tuna I don't know if it's yeah we need to open we're gonna do that now and see you guys in a bit guys i actually don't know when well ended vlogging but it is friday evening now it is 20 past four we were gonna wait until 4 30 but helena has an hour left of work and what i love with living with hers is she's given me like you give me like a time schedule like you work i work you finish i finish and it feels really nice and i'm taking that on for january because i feel like january is gonna be a nice slow month so usually at helena's work <laughs> at the office on a friday like an hour before they finish they would treat themselves to a cheeky drink so without further ado it's friday it's an hour till how's and i finish work and we have some bubbles so we are going to finish the last hour of well house's work i'll probably work tomorrow but fun stuff with a glass of champagne and then tonight we are going to do some homemade sushi and um i'm gonna film it i think i'm gonna do it as a separate video though it's like a fun separate video so yeah how exciting yeah let's get popping oh so we have a louis Dolonet. Dolonet. i don't know if that was from laurie or my nan i think it was from my nan so thank you very much nan Friday in my face. <laughs> I'm so glad I called. Cheers, my love. Happy Friday. Friday. <laughs> I'm going to put on Sonos. What did I do? Radio 2 again? Or? Uh, I think that's stopping. Right? <laughs> I already feel about 45 years old. Um, so Capital Heart Hit List. Bradley Cooper sings in uh, Star well, is Born. Should I do that one? Surely there's an album. Oh yeah, there definitely is. Star is Born. Here we go. A Star is Born soundtrack. <laughs> Okay, we need hey to go. Guys, with so it is now Saturday. Helena and I have just done a workout. We had a bit of a lie in, and I've just got ready. We are going to go on our first outing. We need to go on a food shop, and we're going to go to Source and just get some bits and bobs. We're going to make a banana bread today. That's very exciting. And then, what are we having for dinner later? Are we having pasta. Yeah, I think so. Pasta. So we're gonna have like a really yummy pasta, which will be lovely. I'm in my first outfit. I'm wearing this new H&M like aviator. It's in this really nice like cotton. It's lovely with a ASOS white turtleneck, some black ASOS trousers, my, my Chloe bag and some beiges. Got my white trousers bag ready to go. But yeah, so first outing to go and get the food. And then later we're actually gonna go on a big walk. That's gonna be our like outside exercise for the day. We're gonna go to source first, come home, have a bit of food because otherwise we'll be hangry on this long walk to I think we're gonna go to Sloan Square see how long that takes us so yeah so I thought I'd take you with us and this will probably be the last day of this vlog that I 
film um so i hope you enjoy so we're on our little stroll it's really dark hello <laughs> we are in battersea park we're walking to sloan square which is lovely the sun is beautiful we're all wrapped up like all like mm. snug mm -hmm. as a bug i feel like we look like yin and yang because we've both got like matching yeah. scarves on in black and white super cute but it's cold but it's like sunny it's really nice That's this could take us like an hour to get to sloan square i think it's 45 minutes pretty much yeah i, I mean with our little legs even with our little <laughs> such a dream like this is my favorite winter when it's like so cold and you're all wrapped up so you've got your sunnies on it's sunny outside grabbed a little coffee done some little snappy it's been really nice wasn't it bab i don't know if i've told you but we've been in we're in sloan square now well now we're just behind sarchi gallery but we went into this supermarket on sloan square and that was just like our dream wasn't it it was so beautiful it was unreal like the like the deli bit i'll leave oh. some clips from like my stories Oh my god, it was such a dream. My favourite thing ever. <laughs> What's your favourite thing you were saying? The pork react. Pork react. I don't even eat meat anymore, but it's still my favourite. But I like, I don't, we like, we both don't really eat meat. Yeah. Except like, serene ham. <laughs> But that's like on a very special occasion. But it's so nice. But we're making our way back home. That's gonna be another 45 minutes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Lovely Saturday, babes. We just need to get some eggs. Yeah. And some red, red wine. And we got yeah, to go. And some parsley. And some parsley. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Nearly evening. So we've just got back from our walk, which was so nice like honestly it was just such a lovely walk such a lovely day the weather was so lovely we got in and it's now we got in about like half three did we get half three maybe yeah. just after and now it's half four we've just finished off the bottle of champagne that we opened last night and we're going to make some banana bread i was gonna say gingerbread it's just gonna kind of like not we're gonna follow a recipe but like kind of just do it by eye measurement. So Helena's starting. We're gonna do it in the terracotta. Is it terracotta? Yeah. A terracotta bowl because we don't have any mixing bowls or anything like that at the moment. So yeah, so we're gonna have a super chilled evening. Have some champagne. I feel like this is so bougie. Cheers. So yeah, that's gonna be so lovely. So I'll take you along with us. I probably won't leave a recipe down below for this banana bread because we're just gonna play it by ear. What are we doing? It's What's a croquette and banana. Is this coconut flour? Yeah, coconut flour. Coconut Co flour. Coconut sugar. Coconut sugar. And we've got some coconut flakes we can yeah. put on top. Doing banana, maybe a bit of honey. This is gonna be lovely, Babs. So it's gonna be gluten-free, dairy-free, but it's gonna have eggs in it. Um, so I'm gonna put you on a time lapse. I'm gonna carry on drinking my champagne. And my duty, which Helena has given me, is to mash some banana. Look, yum, yum, yum. Here we go. I'm gonna combine it with my cheddar. Ooh. The cheese queen at her finest. Just blend in a bit of Parmigiano with Tesco's finest cheddar cheese. <laughs> Today's oh pasta. What's the pasta today? Was it Ali? Ali goli, olioli. Ali goli, olioli. So is it just like a chili, garlic? This one. Ag agaoli, e aoli. What are you on about? And we're FaceTiming Luz. Luz, say hi to the vlog. Hi. Look at Petal. Hello. So we're FaceTiming Luz, we FaceTimed Finn. Got some red wine going. And we're gonna make some pasta, which is delicious. Oh, the banana bread is out. Beautiful. And it's getting firmer. It's, it was very like, spun. I mean, we're, I mean, I feel like we're not gonna complain because we're gonna eat it anyway. Do you know what I think we should get, Hells, tomorrow? Ice cream, like some vegan ice cream. That would be a bug. We're gonna start cooking. Carry on FaceTime and Lorenzo. And um, yeah, 
I'll show you the end result. Ooh. Beautiful. <sighs> Helena has outdone herself. We have a Bridget Joan marathon. Cheers, babes. Cheers. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Look at how Look at it going down the side. Oh, oh my God. That is like Sex. Master Chef. Sex. Sex. Wow. So we've just had dinner, and now we've got banana bread, and we melted like the mini dark, the green and black chocolates on it. Oh, my goodness. That looks so good. So we're going to tuck into this and finish it. But I'm going to leave you guys here. We're going to go on a lovely little walk and go and grab a coffee. Then Helen and I are going to make a really yummy roast dinner. And we've got leftover banana bread, which was beautiful. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my second 2021 weekly vlog. I hope you're all well. I'm going to put down the camera and pick up the camera tomorrow and do my third one. Honestly, I'm really loving it and I hope you do too. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really supports my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all well and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.